Welcome to another episode of Real Talk. My name is Nicole Asinaga, and today I am at Baba Lecky, here to meet some really interesting guys to talk about something I am particularly interested in. And trust me, you're going to want to hear this. On this episode, we have actor and presenter Bolly Lomo, medical doctor and social commentator Dr. Foy, managing director of Evoke Advertising Agency Billy Holloway, and singer songwriter Sound Sultan. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes, I'm inside the man cave in the barber shop. You know, how are you feeling about me being here? <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about something that I feel like all of you guys are going to have an opinion of. And I'm just, you know, the silent party just here to kind of like understand. So there have been books written about this, sermons, plays, and everybody in the world wants to know why men cheat? Yeah. Why can't me? Why men cheat? Is that, is that what we're cheat? speaking about? Why don't, yes. we, why don't we stop there? Do men actually cheat? Everybody, everybody knows worldwide, universally, men are known for cheating. I always say something though. Who are so these men? Is that I always say, who are these men cheating with? Who are they cheating with? Women, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So that means some women, mm -hmm. and it's not your brother, it's married. Mm -hmm. There's some women who are. Strong conk cheaters. Mm -hmm. You guys are all deflecting. Bully. It's huh? cool. No, we're not deflecting. No, we're all deflecting. We're all deflecting. We're all deflecting. Yes, okay. exactly. First of all, I don't um, cheat. Okay, That's put it out there to the okay. world. Okay, me too, I don't cheat. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never cheat. <laughs> but I know some men <laughs> brother. I want if they are lie detectors. Yeah, yeah. I will pass. Ah, I'll pass. I've never cheated. You know, I'm a you know, jollof rice man. When I, when I start eating one meal, mm -hmm. I eat it till I die. I don't okay, like so it's funny you said that. So, is cheating about variety? Is it that you want jollof rice, but some days you it's want greed. fried or oriental? It's greed. It's greed. No, it's not things or something. No, to be honest, it's not things. Okay, let me start. Yeah, yeah. The point of view of greed, like I've, I've I've been married to my wife uh, for eight years. Okay. Year. And one thing I understand about the concept of cheating is you can never get satisfied. I don't think it's about satisfaction. I so, think it's about mm, excitement. About so I think that for a lot of guys, um, you know, you're with a woman for so long, mm -hmm. and I think men we we're thrill seekers, right? We like Adventure, the yeah. we like the thrill of the chase. We like that rush. Oh, I don't collect number. Yeah. Oh, I the ping gun. I don't know. There's something about that. Maybe that's why men historically were explorers, were conquerors. We like going to war. We like. Well, so it's about feeling alive. Remember, some people it's not true, though. Some people cheat the day they marry. <laughs> that day, yes. that yes. day, it's not about. So I think they've got into the habit because before they got married, they were dating the person. Let's bring it down. Do good people cheat? So you, because because the context here is that bad people cheat. So can a good man cheat? Yes. 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 So and I first of all ask you, what is a good, who a is good, a good man? Okay, so good, a, a good man would be like a, a person who, who has some morals, who, who is ready to stay with his wife or his girlfriend and not cheat, who is ready to commit. Mm -hmm. Now, can a good man cheat? The answer is yes. He's human. And he's human. One is sometimes you, you marry a woman that wears this drink in the house, very mm -hmm. rapper. Mm -hmm. he, mm -hmm. So women change. So you think a woman can cause a man to yes. cheat? Yes. So that, that, yes. I think you go, it boils down back to him when he says satisfaction. It's like cheating is a choice. There's always going to be distraction. There's always going to be girls that's going to always come and send you mood. Especially if you're in the entertainment industry. There are going to be girls that are going to tell you that you this month, I'm coming to your house. So how about the ones you initiate? You're, Actually, you're there's, making it sound like they're the ones pointing. No, no, I mean, no, no, fair enough. I'm just saying like, I'm just saying like, how, if we're not looking at the initiation, what we're looking at if it's like based on pressure. Like, you know, someone maybe tempted you to the point where you felt like you should have done it. But then a lot of men say that cheating um, comes from a primal instinct. You're predators by nature. You said it, you're conquerors, warriors. You yeah, want but, to feel like so, I mean, you conquered them. So that primal instinct, is it a choice? Because most men make it seem like it's their no, thing I mean, that works. And naturally, don't naturally that instinct would always come to anybody. You can find a guy that's attractive. I think when you're, men... Sorry, I yes, think men are made from dog instincts sometimes <laughs> because I don't understand. There are some things that we derive joy from that the ladies don't just. So I feel maybe biologically that could, you know, justify what you were saying. But it's not like, oh yes, hey, no, I no, have no, to blame no. it on nature. Now, no. now a man can love a woman and cheat. Please, do, do, do. yeah. And and the reason why he can is that medically. 
women tend to prepare for sex. So a woman can can spend the whole day. So women are. What do you mean, like African emotionally? Training, emotionally. Okay. It takes, so women know. So women mm-hmm. they, as they enter, they enter again. Yeah. But but some so women, most women emotion they think about it. A man can bash his car, lose his job. Arsenal will lose, it's, it's, and the, the night is going down. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What about the guys that have two to three girlfriends? What about the guys that actively cheat? So I'm not talking about, oh, you just lost your job and then you ended up one in the club. Yeah. I'm talking about yeah. a guy who actively yeah. cheats. I think there are a variety of reasons why people cheat. Some men are not sexually satisfied in their relationships. One. Some have... Some men are in relationships for other reasons, political reasons, financial reasons, and, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. it's a variety of things. You know, the different reasons why people cheat. I think that you have the emotional absence. You have some that cheat for, maybe they're not satisfied sexually. And then you have some people that are with people for the wrong reasons in the first place. Maybe it's just a sham union, a sham marriage, my family, your family, and all that. So from the get-go, there was never any talk of even sexual loyalty. You just know it's for society. It's just for the face. I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying that if we're looking at the reasons men cheat, I think let's look at the reasons why men get with women in the first place. Okay, can we take it back? Like, can you guys tell me what is your definition of cheating? To make it for the lame man to understand, mm-hmm. cheating is when you are eating jollof rice, but you have served <laughs> salad plus more and more on your plate. That's cheating. What? So if you, want you are eating jollof rice normally, mm-hmm. then you now decided and woke up mm-hmm. and went out. I'm um, added moi moi and salad. So, so that analogy, as funny as it is, it's yeah. actually a bit disturbing because it's like, you know, saying that one woman cannot be a full plate. Well, you can find a woman that is jollof rice, <laughs> salad, moi moi on the side. Yeah, put yourself. Like, yeah, yeah, well, can I finish my number, Jay? Oh, can I finish my I think we have to defend him. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. I'll defend myself. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you're saying that. No, it's not your analogy. It's but you know, yeah. so I think you could have switched his analogy now. That's not what he said. What I'm saying is that women can do that to you. What I'm saying is that one food is jello fries, another food is salad, another food. It's moi moi. <laughs> so you've decided that you want to eat dollar fries, yeah? Okay. That's what you are purchasing. You know? I didn't say whether it's combined. I'm just saying the one meal that you are eating is jollof fries. Oh, yeah. And everybody came when you bought that jollof fries. fries. I saw you. This everybody is, said, I said, you. okay, this is what you want to eat. Eat jollof fries. Do you want yes. plantain? No. Do you want salad? No. no. Just jollof. But you said you want just jollof. So stay with the jollof. Yes, yeah, just exactly. saying cheating. Defining cheating Defining would be that when you now say, okay, in the coral, I'm not going to be adding cream. Give that a small yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know something on What was that? Nicole, what was that? So Nicole, wait, they know. No, no, no. Nicole, Nicole, wait, Nicole, wait, Nicole, wait, what was wait. that shit? Wait. It's like guys like almost like comment cheating. Yeah, bro. No, we don't. No, yeah, we don't. Oh, no, 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 I shook no, him no. because he made a good no, point. No, he made a good point. And if I was showing you that we're not part of these people that cheat. We know them. Before, yeah. We know them. Yeah. We don't. Of yeah, course, thank I don't. you. But what of the men that have three girlfriends and love them all? He has three girlfriends. He has three girlfriends. Right, Most times, men that have three meet. girlfriends, at the end of the day, the wife is the wife. <laughs> if one of those three girlfriends, you're rushing to meet them, and the wife calls and says, my car's broken out, third man, I'm bridge. He knows where his priority is. But I'm trying to say the reason why most marriages break up when the woman cheats is because she's left the marriage before she even cheated. The cheating is an after effect. But with men, I feel the cheating is the first thing. I, I agree that Women cheat emotionally. emotionally. But men yes. are also emotional beings. So yes. We're both emotional beings. I disagree. Well, I don't think both emotional. I don't think men tie emotions to sexuality I as agree. much as women. No, no, fair, yes, fair, I agree. Fair. You have a wife, you have a girlfriend who is willing to do these things. You know, you have a fetish, you want to act like a robber, she's there for it, you know. But a man almost like puts his wife on a pedestal and you want to keep her on this clean pedestal and then you want to do the dirty things mm. outside. Like, what's, what's the explanation? Let's what, ask what's she the supposed to man do? First. Uncle, I talk. I think that guy is greedy and he should have settled for that girl, you know, and work with the shortcomings, the other ones that she would rather her wife garnish that for him. He can't live two lives. If, if he can't teach your wife new things, then it's either you should have settled for that girl and then Teach, teach all the, the qualities you see in your wife. I feel that within everybody, we have two sides, right? We have our daytime side, we have our nighttime side. 
There's a duality in every human Some being. have three, midnight. Some have four, five, six. <laughs> but they're, they're two midnight. major yeah. sides. Let's not get it twisted. Yeah. That's why even sometimes you do things, you surprise yourself. Yeah. You're like, wow, is this me? Yeah. So once you have that duality, I feel that the problem in relationships is that a man sees his wife as a stable foundation to with build children, the remaining of his life with time. How long are you in this thing for? Another 50, 60, whatever. This is a stable foundation. But while you're building that foundation, a lot of men still want to explore. Kazan. So what ends Don't. up happening is that you have a woman for the daytime and a woman for the nighttime. And a lot of guys in their minds, you're catering to your two sides. Because the truth is, you don't want your wife to be that nighttime woman because that comes with its own baggage. She might not be able to raise kids, be the woman you want her to be. I feel that a lot of these scenarios are pointing to that duality in everybody. Yeah. So I find that the trick is that before you settle down, make, make sure. sure that the two sides are aligned. Okay, so, so, don't so, settle down so until your dark side and your bright side oh, so are please, joined. Bros, are you trying to tell us now that men should tarry a while and not marry because the wife will not agree to give. So let me give it. No, a, but he needs to question the reasons, he's, reasons he wants those let things. Let me give. It's the root cause. See, most men, most of, most of us in secondary school, university, had sick sex habits. And some of the good, decent wives we wanted to marry did not go through that path. Just, so, 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 so sometimes the seemingly bad girls keep amazing homes. Because they can be day and night. They can do butterfly and do <laughs> Japanese Which and do Kung Fu. Who you knows? Know. It's like this. My boy knows. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 so with that said, before you go into marry, I think you should talk about your sexual expectations. And like you said, see him, so that you're a good man because you can hold. Some men cannot hold. Some men some men is a big deal to them. It's a big deal to them. But, that, no, but that's the thing. Yeah, some, so, but the thing is, there's some girls that will do butterfly, they will do dragonfly, yes, yes. they will do all the flies. <laughs> and they were so cheap. We decided to take Real Talk to the streets. It takes about half an hour for a very good love making in Nigeria. The first 27 minutes of that half an hour is begging the woman. So it is actually three out of the 30 minutes that is that that he spent making the love and making the two of them can happen. The man probably will bear it for a while. And as a human being, he wants to satisfy himself actually. You go out and look for people like you. I think it's just great. Um, men most times they want to have it all. They want to have that going that is fair, the one that is dark, the one that is short, the one that is tall. They want to have it all. It's just great. You see some men, where they don't stay for our place, they don't know God. You say they know God, they will not stay for our place. They must stay for our place. Because God says that one woman, one man. Men cheat for fun. That's the only way I see it. Not because they don't want to be faithful, but because they just want to have fun. And that's it. I think from the start of the conversation, he said the most greed. important thing. It's greed. It's greed, lack of Selfish. satisfaction, and not being content. I don't, it's, I, I don't think it's greed. That's why I'm, me, I'm playing devil's well, advocate. I, 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 I mean, no, but he, he, he made, he made some I don't think it's greed. He made some points. I think, I think like, when, we talk about, when we talk about greed, I'm the, sorry, the, I just need to come. The points you're making are excuses for me. We learn by biology, by DNA, and we learn by inspiration. I think most men have had bad men, male mentors, most, and that's the truth. The truth is we see what, what we become and we see men celebrate. Uh, bro, I scored in KC. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when you, <laughs> it's, it's celebratory, even till now. Mm -hmm. I've had, like, like, <laughs> can, I ask you, can I ask you a question? Yeah, so, so with that, sometimes that aha moment may never come. Never come. Can we talk about the bro code? Right? The first like, rule of the broker no, is don't talk about it. Can I just want to know, like, what do you know about the broker? Did you learn it in school? Is there a memo? Like, how do you know about the <laughs> You just grow it. It just happens. It's like chakra. It's in, inside you. <laughs> it's it's an energy. Okay. Just, so, yeah. So, this broker, there's at no point do you break the broker. People break it. People, people, yeah. people break it. Yeah. Girls, you people, girls yeah. make them break it. 
Sometimes people make brokers seem like it's a bad thing. Like we're just supporting negativity. But it, it, most of the time, you guys are supporting negativity. No, no, I don't think so. I think most broker is just being loyal to your fellow brother. And sometimes broker, sometimes we support negativity. Yeah, yeah, it's fair sometimes enough. But I'm not saying like, it's only negative. If you come and cry to me and we're friends, yeah. you know, I've come to my guy like, guy, I know that you know this life is sweet, but fix up. That's part of bro code. You know, so you girls don't see that. Well, are we saying fix up ways? Are we saying no, fix up? No, like just fix up. Okay, okay, okay. Guy, y'all want one guy, so. No, what are you talking about? Or the fact that you see a girlfriend, the next girl, the side chick, the baby mm. mama, everyone, you say, ah, our madame, wifey. Like, I feel like guys oh, yeah. play a part in the deceit. Mm. The oh, friends, the bro code God, does God. that. No, but it's true. If you come to a guy's house, you think you're the main chick, and all his friends are saying, ah, madame, how now, how mm. far, long time, da, da, da. You feel like, oh, wow, you know? No, yeah, but then he's doing it to the yeah, next yeah, girl. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> so oh, this sorry. bro code. No, 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 no sorry. <laughs> I don't, I don't think we should make this seem as if it's only guys that do it. I think deception is human nature. I don't think we should restrict it to whether men that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just my point. Do you think monogamy is actually for Africans? Because like before the white man came, we had multiple wives, concubines, yeah. it wasn't found I know, I know for us. Women that, you know, it's, it's, it's for us. Most men think that, should be told, they were made to mm. have multiple partners. Mm -hmm. Most yeah. men think that way. No, I mean, the, the numbers uh, the numbers way. don't lie. No, but yeah, seven like to I said one. from the beginning again, I yeah. said, mm. most men uh, think that way. Human beings are like seven billion in the world. How many are women? So what will happen to the oldest ones? Also, this is an act of service. You're no, 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 you don't have to do it. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, see, he's a sultan. He's a sultan. Listen, I'm saying, I'm saying, what if, you know, as a wife, you can, you can pick a partner for your husband and say, okay, marry this one. I just feel like we're all human beings. We all try and manage our margin of error, right? Mm, yeah, 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 no, that's just no it. So, perfect, so I know some people say, ah, and this guy's never just, mm. Yeah, we <laughs> say, but at the end of the day, do we really know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not with him 24 hours. So mm. with this whole cheating thing or no cheating thing, I say, look, at the end of the day, let's try and mitigate the margin Yeah, of that's, what, that's yeah. what life is about. That's yeah, what, that's at the end of the day, because grow, we might sit here and all grow, try and yeah. see him and say, mm, grow, we know the reality. Yeah. And I think from that reality, we just decide that, look, this is what I want yeah. versus you know, my is, physical yeah. urge. And, and this is what I stand to lose. Yeah. If I do that. So yeah. at any given time, it's a reward versus risk. Yeah. Yeah. And every man decides differently. Yeah. That's it. But if you cheated, would you want us to forgive you? Oh, you're not bigger. I always think yeah. about it. Like my wife is just, yes, he can go and say he's not with her every, every time of the day, but <laughs> I can speak for her. <laughs> but my wife is just like, she's that kind of person that, in fact, I don't, I don't like speaking about her. I don't be like this guy and I'm we don't fall in love, you don't know anything, but truly my wife is amazing, so ideal. Yeah. She's amazing, you can ask people about her. Yeah. She's just that kind of person that a musician needs. You know, she creates that balance for me and you know, just I, keeps yeah, me yeah. grounded keeps me fully grounded because yeah. for me, I, I'm i always in front of the camera, I'm with people, you know, they, 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 this, this thing hovers over the industry. Even my girlfriend you know. too, she's amazing. She's the woman. Let me add to it. Please. <laughs> no, no, well, you feel it. Yeah. I can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you justify the relationship. Okay. <laughs> You want to say something to your girlfriend? Too? I don't know. Do you have a girlfriend? This guy. This guy now. I'll break up. <laughs> well, for me, I think it depends on the context. Okay. If, the, if it's a prolonged type of thing they've been having, messages, they've traveled together, she's built a relationship with this person. Don't bother. My marriage is over. I just have to accept that. But if it's a one-off, drunken yeah. night, went out with the girls, met up with an ex, la di da di da So I think it depends on the context. context yeah. So for me, that's what I used to decide. Mm. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and you? You? Mm -hmm. Are you pressing that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the auto. What do you mean? Why? The auto of the question. Uh -huh. My, <laughs> My God. And on that note, thank you guys so much for joining us. Like you guys were, I don't know if you answered. I don't think there is an answer, to be honest, yeah. but I think you did the best you could. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to join the conversation, please make sure you comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indani TV. Also, make sure you follow us on all social media platforms at Indani TV. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.